Welcome to class today, Geometry students, on this uh, Wednesday the 12th. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you're ready to take a test. Let's jump right into today's announcements. First of all, um, at this time, please turn in your review sheet. Stop. Make sure your name is on it, and please turn in your review sheet. A couple of you have already turned it in, but for the rest of you, please turn it in now at this time. Incompletes, there are none. Um, Emmanuel and Mike, um, your quizzes are graded and entered in the Sycamore. We will go over those quizzes tomorrow as a class. Guys, remember if you're in the room on the day of a test or a quiz, you will take it no matter how many days you've been absent unless you contact me before the class period starts. Now today, we're going to take the Chapter 10 test, all right? Test corrections for your Chapter 9 test are due by tomorrow. Don't forget, you have to turn in your test with your test corrections, all right? Now, please remember today's rules for the test. Number one, <coughs> I want all cell phones, Mrs. Duke, on the tables away from the students where you can see them, Mrs. Duke, also. And that includes uh, Apple Watches, all that stuff. So please take those off also and set those down. As for um, calculators, you guys are not to share calculators, okay? And no cell phones can be used for calculators. All right, let's go over your test. Um, please pause the video, pass out the tests, Mrs. Duke, and then restart the video once everyone has a test on their desk. Now listen carefully on one, two, three, and four. <coughs> the first answer blank for numbers one, two, three, and four, just type the uh, square root into your calculator and get out an answer. That's called solving it. In the other blank for one through four, I want you to simplify it, okay? Um, so if you had the square root of eight, that would be two square root of two, all right? So I want an answer like that in the second blank, all right? Numbers five through 10, we're finding sine, cosine, and tangent, given a right triangle. 11 through 16, um, we're using a calculator to solve these problems, okay? On three problems, I have given you an angle. In three problems, you're looking for the angle. Make sure you know which buttons to push on your calculators. Lastly, 17 through 24, solve those right triangles. Now, would you please listen carefully? Here's how you're going to write your answers. See, number 17 looks like this. 45 degrees here. 45 degrees here. A right angle here and two square root of two here. So you're missing two pieces. So whatever you find for this length, you put your answer right there. Whatever you find for this length, you put your answer right here. Got it? Look at number 18. Number 18 is a right triangle that looks like this. All right, you're given a length here and you're given a length here. You're missing this angle and this angle. So whatever the answer is for those angles, you write that answer, let's say it's 60 degrees, then you put that answer right there, okay? And the answer to this angle here, you put that right here, all right? Okay, moving on. Now, one more thought, guys. The problem I put up here earlier, number 17, notice that's one of your special triangles, okay? If you want, some of these triangles are special triangles, some of them are not. For the ones that are special triangles, feel free to use your shortcuts. If you don't remember your shortcuts, then don't use your shortcuts. Use sine, cosine, and tangent. That's fine. Do whatever it takes to solve these triangles, okay? That's all for today. Please get to work on your test. It must be finished today. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all.